Hi, third grade scholars. Miss Keck here, ready for some tier three reading comprehension lessons. Before we get started, we're gonna make sure we have everything we need to grow our brains. And that is this story, Five Flying Penguins from GetEpic.com. You can find it in your email or go onto the website and type it in. You can pause the video now and unpause it when you have the video ready to go. Alrighty, scholars, so I have a question for you. What do you know about penguins? Tell Miss Keck what you know about penguins. Very cool. Have you ever seen a penguin? I have. I went to the Georgia Aquarium recently and I saw the penguins and they're one of my favorite animals. I think they're so cute the way they waddle. Alrighty, scholars, so our story today is about five little penguins that are content in the cold until they spot a menacing mammal. We're going to read and find out what happens to the five little penguins today. So before we get started, we're going to take a look at some sight words that are popping up right here. We're going to say them so we know them very quickly when we see them in the text. The first one is little. Say it. Say it. Say it. Awesome job. Our next one is just. Say it. Say it. Say it. Our third one is, you got it. Said. Say it. Say it. Say it. Awesome job. And our last one is, Come, say it, say it, say it. Awesome job, scholars, send yourself some shine. All right, scholars, so what do we do when we don't know a word? How do we decode a word? Tell Miss Keck. You got it, scholars. We find chunks of the word that we know, and we think to ourselves, does that make sense? So we're going to try it with this word today. So I might not know this word, and this word is going to show up in the text. So. I know this blend is a fl, fl. And I know this ending, ing, ing, from, our, from the work that we do with phonics. So fl, i, fl, fl, ing, fling, fl, ing, flying, flying. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And I found chunks that I knew in the text, in the word, to know to myself, does that make sense? And put them together. So I want you to do that as you're reading. This question right here, that's popping up right here, what is the author's message in the story? What is the author's message in the story? So you're gonna think about that as you read. You can now pause the video and read the story and unpause it when you're ready to continue with our lesson. Amazing job, scholars. I'm so proud of you for reading and decoding all of those words in this story. So before we answer questions, what do we have to do? You got it, we have to mine for evidence. So that means we find the answer in the text to make sure we know our answer is correct and our teacher knows where we found it. So our first question is a factual question. That means we can find the answer directly in the text. Our first question is, what type of weather do the penguins live in? What type of weather do the penguins live in? Find the evidence. Awesome job, scholars. Now tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. You got it. Send yourself some shine. All right, scholars, our next question is an inferential question. It means we use the text and the picture and what we know to figure out the answer. Are the penguins actually flying? What are they actually doing? Find the evidence. Awesome job, scholars. Now tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. Amazing job, scholars. Kiss your brain. You did an amazing job with that question. Our next two questions are critical thinking questions. It might be about how the characters change the story, what the message the author is trying to tell us, or the character's motivation. So our first critical thinking question is, what is surprising at the end of the story? What is surprising at the end of the story? Find the evidence. Awesome job, scholars. Now tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. Amazing job, scholars. Kiss your brain. You're doing a fantastic job today with our comprehension questions. We're now going to do our last critical thinking question, and it is, what is the message from the story? What is the message from the story? Find the evidence. Awesome 
Awesome job, Scottish. Now tell the answer. Tell the answer. You got it, scholars. You did an amazing job today reading and answering those questions. Kiss your brain. And I will see you next time. Bye, scholars.